All right, and hello everyone, it is me, Jay Burns, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you all how to make this bracelet right here, or just pretty much a bracelet that will look similar to this one, and this bracelet here is called the Cauliflower Power Bracelet. So, I just kind of came up with just kind of a goofy name for it, and it's just a personally kind of made me think of Thanksgiving which is tomorrow as of the recording of this video in America and yeah so it's like I haven't made a tutorial let's make one so this bracelet is very easy to make it's pretty much customizable which means you don't have to have your uh, make the bracelet the exact same way I do as you can see the little cauliflowers kind of just on alternating sides you can put them all on one side or you could do an alternating pattern but you just need to know a few basic things and then you can go about making your own little bracelet here all you need to make beforehand is a fishtail and I have many tutorials on how to do that including a hook only tutorial and I'll have links to fishtail tutorials in the description if you need to see one Ooh. I have sniffles today, sorry. Anyway, you're also going to preferably have C clips because that's what we're going to be using to attach to the fishtail, so that's what these bands are sitting on right now. Let me see if I can turn on my light here. Hopefully this light helps. Anyway, you're also going to need a hook. And you're also going to need some rubber bands. Now another thing about the C-clips, if you have the big C-clips like I do here, or even the colored ones, then that would be best because you're going it's going to be a lot easier to make if you can fit your hook through the clip. So it's an easy bracelet to make, but you just gotta have the right stuff to make it. Alright, so in the description I'll have the number of each rubber band or the number of rubber bands you need for each clip that you want to add to your fishtail in the description and you can just figure all those little things out and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make it so to make this bracelet you're first going to need your fishtail and when you have your fishtail then you can start making the little cauliflower thingies or little flowers So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make one, how to at and then show you how to attach it, and then you'll just do that for all your little flowers. Very short tutorial today. So first we're going to take our clip and already we're going to be putting the clip on our hook like so. Then we're going to take one of our rubber bands, put it on our hook like so and then slide the clip onto the rubber band then put the other end of this rubber band onto our hook as well and then you're going to want to make sure that the open end of the c-clip is facing away from your hook or pointing away from the hook so pointing down then we're going to take one side of this rubber band preferably this side furthest away from the hook part of our hook and just pull it off and over the hook oh hold on a minute there we go. pull it off and over the hook but not over the clip and then just pull the clip a little bit to kind of tighten this slip knot we just made alright now we're going to put the clip back on our hook but when we do this we need to make sure that the side of the clip that has the rubber band kind of looking like a V so as you can see the rubber band that's on our clip on this side it looks like a V and on the other side it just looks like two lines right next to each other like squeezed together and on the other side it looks like a V make sure the side that looks like a V is what's kind of facing towards your hook when you put the clip back on that's very important so that your flower doesn't look all goofy Right, then you're going to get another rubber band. You're going to slide only the clip onto this new band. Then put the other end of this new rubber band 
onto your hook. Then, these two loops here, furthest away from the actual hook part of our hook, are going to be pulled off the hook, off and over here, but not off and over the clip, so make sure they don't come sliding off, oops, sliding off the clip, or over it. So you can give the clip a little tug here to kind of tighten the slip knot. And then we're going to do the same thing two more times. So, find the side of the clip that looks like the bands are in a V shape. Make sure that side is what's facing the hook when you put the clip back on. Get a band, put it on the actual hook part of your hook. Slide the clip onto that new band. Put the other end of this new band onto your hook as well. And then these two bands, furthest away from the hook part of your hook, is going to get, or are going to be slid onto this, or off the hook, and not over the clip. So I'm just going to give the clip a little tug there. And then, all we got to do is the same thing one more time. And if I am going too fast, just use the pause button. Band. Put on the clip. These two bands over the hook. Give a little tug there. And when you finish, you're going to take this loop that's on your hook. You're going to grab it so that you have a good hold on it. Then you can take it off of the hook, and you need to get this band onto the clip as well. So to do this, you just find the open end of the clip, get that loose end in there. Sometimes it's easier to take the loop and stretch it across two fingers, and then use that open end, or use this, yeah, use the open end of the clip to just slide it on there. Alright, well anyway. Once you have this end... What's just that noise outside? Today is a busy day outside. Anyway. Once you finish this, now you can attach it to your fishtail, however you want. Now there is a little bit of instruction for attaching this, the clips on. You need to make sure that you attach them on the same side of the fishtail. So you don't want them sticking out on all sides of the fishtail or else it will feel really weird when you wear it on your wrist. So as you can see here in this example, I have all of them here on the top or on the bottom. I don't have any sticking out this side. Just this side up here and this side down here. Not on this or this. Hopefully that makes sense. So if you want a little bit of instruction for attaching clips on you're going to want to look into the side of your fishtail, and I don't know if the camera will be able to capture this very well. But you just need to find a rubber band inside your fishtail to attach the clip to. And to make it a little easier, you can use your hook to go in there and get this band that you see and you want to attach. Hopefully the camera can see that. But I'm getting, I'm going in. And what you'll end up with is two little bands on your hook if you use this method. So if you go in and grab a band, you'll end up grabbing what looks like two. So I'll do it again. So I'm just looking in here. Just stick my hook in there. Sorry if you can hear my sisters downstairs playing her game. 
in this noisy day. But anyway, once you have that, you can use the clip and just attach it to those two loops. Hopefully you can get it on there. Just pull your hook out. And kind of pull on the fishtail a little. Kind of stick the clip down into the fishtail to make it so it doesn't look like it's sticking out as much. And now it is in there. And now you can go about making more of these little flowers and adding them to your fishtail and making yourself a cauliflower power bracelet. When you're finished, you just need to attach the two ends of the fishtail, so the end with your clip and the cap band together, and you will have your bracelet. So then you can just put it on, and you have your well, you have your cauliflower power bracelet. So now it's time for the outro. So I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial. Hopefully it showed you how to make these little flowers successfully. And you've made yourself a little bracelet. However you would like to make it. And yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say for this video. Other than thanks for watching. And bye.